Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Loving Your Stamps. Today we're going to be talking about the scenescapes. So we've got a number of different ones that are actually being discontinued. So it's your last chance to buy any of these. Once they've gone, they've gone. But I thought I'd just do a quick demo just to show you how quick and easy these scenescapes are to use. You know when we haven't all got time to create lovely backgrounds, these are a quick fix and still handmade. So I'm going to pick a couple now that we can work with. Let's have that one as well. Just pick three for now. But if you go onto the website under the discontinued end of line, you will see all of these there. Okay, so it's 220 GSM. So it's a really good thick card. And it's printed really nicely. The colours are superb on this. But what's great about it, it's not like ultra glossy. It's classed as a matte even though there's a slight sort of satin finish but it means that the ink will adhere to it really well. Um, I use the Versafine, the, the Nocturne, um, I will be just now to stamp out Seren onto this lovely card. So let's just pop her into place. I think she'll look really good because we've got a slight hill here and I think she'll look quite nice in that lit up area there. So let's just ink her up and pop pop that down straight over the top. Give that a good press. And there we go. So she's come out really well. Still got all that beautiful detail. So it really does stamp well on this card. Something else we can do, we can add more colour if we want. Taking um, a mask, we can always add some more hills in the background there. So just by doing that, you know, you can just keep on adding more and more. Put another one just in the distance there, just slightly. And if we want to stamp a verse over the top, I've got warm breeze there. So let's ink that verse up. This is our new verse. And just those couple of stamps and you've got yourself a ready-made card. We can add some glitter to that so I've got my glue pen here. Let's just go along the edge here and here. Let's add a little bit of Sparkle. And again, that sticks really well. Or of course you can use the Posca pens as well. 
which are the acrylic paints and if we wanted to create some orbs just around Serin and then a little bit of pink you can make each one as different as you want just by adding a few little bits so how quick and easy is that but it looks fab quick and easy the next one let's have a look a stamp here that would work perfectly well so again I'm going to ink this up in the Nocturne and simply just pop our lovely fairies down give that a good press And there we go. And again, we can just grab the Posca pens and finish it off with a few little orbs. making each one as different as you want. The scenescapes are just a good base to, to start, you know. And not everybody likes to get inky and it suits beginners. You know, people that just are just starting out stamping. It gives you an idea of how to create cards. We can add a little bit of glitter to this. Again, just using the glue pen, following that line on the ground. And let's go with a little bit of pink on this one. And again, how quick and easy is that? And I've got one last one here. And they would look great on there. Inking up in the nocturne. Let's pop one of our hairs there. And our other one. just next to each other under the moonlight definitely in love we've got a little branch here with some flowers on one of our mini stamps there we go, we've got a block here, a small block and I'm just going to ink that up now in warm breeze and I'll turn these trees into something a little bit different. All we're doing is just adding a little bit of foliage. And of course you can add flowers or you could add leaves 
or you could just leave them bare and add glitter depending on what season you decide. So whether you are a beginner starting out or whether you have been crafting and making cards for years and years, I think these scenescapes are just a great starting point or something when you haven't got the time to get inky and create backgrounds yourself. So again, I'm just going to add, let's do the Posca first. The Poscas are fabulous just for making something a little bit more magical. I don't know what it is about dots, but I think it gives a sense of magic doesn't it? It does for me anyway. And let's pop a little bit of glitter along the edge there. And there it is. So we have three cards there that we've created very quickly using those backgrounds. So I hope that that's inspired you to have a go guys. You take care and we will see you very soon.